Why dating a Japanese woman is a pain in the ass. Today I'm gonna talk about my honest opinions on dating Japanese women. Hi, my name is Taiki. I am a Japanese native living in Japan, born and raised in Japan. So I'm gonna give you some insight on what Japanese women are like. In my opinion, Japanese women are overrated. Again, this is going to be my opinion and this is going to be very biased. So I don't want you to think that all Japanese women fit into this category. Now, the first thing I noticed is that Japanese women try too hard to act or look feminine. Now it's good for some guys, some guys like feminine women, but they try it so hard, the Japanese women. By doing that, they say the same thing, they act a certain way. And I'm like, where's the personality? You put the same makeup on, the trendy makeup on, so you look the same, you act the same, because we are brought up in a culture that certain way is admired. A submissive women are admired. So we are taught to be submissive. The women are taught to be submissive. So we just tend to act the same. And it's one of the collective culture we have. But if you try overly to attract mates, then you're gonna kill your identities. So I think there has to be a balance, there has to be a sweet spot. Number two, they are overly conscious of themselves. Now, this is not going to be a uniquely Japanese thing. Japanese beauty standard, among women, they want to be very skinny. I know if you're a guy, I know that's not what you want from a girl. You don't want a skinny girl. It just doesn't really look healthy. But like, unfortunately, Japanese women are fixated on being skinny, skinny, skinny all the time. They're not really confident on themselves. So if you're dating one, she might say, I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm fat. Even if she's like 40 kilograms or something. Again, I'm talking about some most Japanese women. Or Japanese women tend to be like this kind of thing. There are some Japanese women who are very confident of themselves. They work out, they hit the gym, and they're not afraid of show off their figures, you know? But it's just probability. The reason why dating a Japanese woman is a pain in the ass, number three. Their head is just empty. Now if you're scrolling a dating app in Japan, you find lots of lots of women. And surprisingly, the dating apps in Japan, most of them, men are the only people who have to pay. Women usually don't have to pay for the app, which is, I want it to change, you know? But that's the reality, so. So if you scroll down the matching app, or dating app, you see lots of women, and if you read their profiles, they say something like this. On the weekends, on my days off, I like napping, shopping, hanging out with friends, drinking with friends. Does that turn you on? Does that make you interested in her? Plus, if you ask about some political problems or social issues, usually they don't have any opinion on something. And this is not just about women, it's, it's men too. If you ask men, Japanese men, usually they don't have any opinion on things like social issues and so on because we're not brought up to be have opinions I think if you're living in the United States or if you're American you were brought up to have opinions you always have to have opinions on things right in Japan it's the opposite we tend to just avoid arguments so we just are taught to not have opinions so Usually the conversations will going to be like, oh, the K-dramas, or the YouTuber, or something, 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 something. Never like politics, or never social issues, you know? So these are the reasons why the Japanese women are overrated, and I'm not saying everyone, obviously. There are great Japanese women. I once fell in love with my ex, and she was really... She was doing karate, she was badass, you know? There are some Japanese women like that, but I think most Japanese women like take to sleep and nap and they just write that as a hobby. And I just find it ridiculous. And the dating app, men only have to pay so women don't take it really seriously. So that's kind of a chaos, the dating culture in Japan. But 
if you're interested, if you still find Japanese women attractive or Japanese men attractive, I will help you with some Japanese language because I, I'm sure the Japanese language barrier is the biggest obstacle when coming to Japan or living in Japan because I am a Japanese teacher with certified Japanese teacher so if you're interested in taking lessons privately online I'll have a link in the description below you can check it out I'll see you in the next one until next time